Hi, it's video tutorial number 23 for the ART 1383 class, Loading Images with the LCD Object. Let's just start with a new patcher and um, today we're going to learn how to load images to the LCD project. So, uh, open your new patcher, type the letter N, type LCD, and there it is, the LCD. Um, before we get started here, we're going to need an image. You might have one that you want to use for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm just going to zoom over to uh, Google and type in monkey images. Oh, look at those monkey images. Um, gosh, which, there we go, there we go. That's it. So we're going to just control click on that. Save image as. Oops. And then we're going to put it in our um, in our uh, class folder for Max Jitter. Wherever it is. Whoops. Let's call it Monkey Face. Hmm. You know, I feel like I used monkey face before, so I'm going to say monkey marks because of the glasses. There we go. And we'll just uh, save that in max jitter. Where the heck did my class file go? I'll just save it right in here because Max will be able to find it. Monkey marks. There we go. Okay. Back to Max MSP. Enough, enough fun for now. Okay, so with our LCD object open here, um, should we do it the easy way? Uh, no, let's just say uh, make a message and say first you want to say read, and you want to put a space. Uh, excuse me, read picked and then you want to put a space and you're going to need to name your image once it's open so uh, let's call it uh, we'll call the image uh, image M and then um, we need to also then put in the name of the of the file so to do that we're going to have to go to the finder Go back to our um, go back to our document section. Max Jitter Monkey Marks, and we're just going to copy. We're going to copy everything because one time I forgot to leave the E out of this, and I couldn't ever get the the uh, file. So here we go. We're going to copy that. Go back to Max and insert that right after. Uh, we're going to put a space after image M and then say paste. So monkey marks.jpg. Then we have to, um, once we connect that in there, so um, if you recall working with the this is sort of like working with the buffer. So now it's read it, but then you have to tell it also to draw it. Max can only be expected to do so many things, so we'll type another message and say draw. And then we're going to call it, whoops, I hate when it does that. Draw space. I'm sorry, draw picked space image M and then we, we could tell it where to draw it let's just say at uh, 10 10 so that would be 10 pixels over from the left and 10 pixels down and as soon as I connect this we'll make the LCD a little bit bigger and 
see what happens. Lock your patcher, go ahead, read the image, and then draw the image. Look at that, there's our cute little monkey. Now, I have to confess that I'm somewhat distressed that it's only 10 pixels, it is 10 pixels off here, but not here. What happened? I pushed the letter T. Okay, does everyone see that up there? Unlock your patcher. Get back in there. Delete that. Lock your patcher again, and let's just do it again. So, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It drew this one right over the other one. Uh, I guess we need to put in that the most uh, important of all messages for the LCD, the clear image the clear message. Okay, so ready, clear, and now draw it 10 pixels out and 10 pixels over. There it is, look at that, 10 and 10. And if you didn't like the size of this, well, you could change the size of, you could change the size of your LCD, of course be easy enough. Or, um, barring that, you could also say, uh, go up to your message here and say, add some letters on here. And all of this is in the help file, by the way. And you could say, you know, I want to make it uh, twice as wide. Uh, uh, let's, let's just say 150% as wide and 150% is tall. Lock your patcher, clear it, and let's give that a try. What did I do wrong? Uh, 150, 110, 10, 150, 150. Um, hmm. I couldn't even guess. I'm gonna change the letters and see what happens again. Let's say, 250. Okay, it seems to be work. Oh, you know, it probably just uh, put the image in at some size initially when it put it in there, but now we're getting the actual scaling going on here. So at 10 and 10, this is 250% of the original size. And then just to make sure of that, Let's unlock it one more time and make and see if um, 500, which should be even significantly bigger. Actually, we'll just change one and see what happens. There we go. Yes, it's 500% as wide and 250 as tall. So you can scale it and distort it and everything else. And then change your LCD to match. Nice. Okay, you cute little monkey. Um, that is how to load um, images in there. And of course, if you wanted other images, you can just call it image N or image 3 or whatever and put that in there and then draw one over the other. But that's the basic way to get your image in there. And I will come back and uh, talk to you about reading images in the next video. Thanks for watching.